Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and this is a review of the Marvel Legends Tiger and Spider Man 2099. If you guys want to see more cool Marvel Legends reviews, be sure to activate that like button bonus. But without further ado, let's get right into the review. So, guys, I have been waiting to get these two figures from Big Bad Toy Store for quite a while now. Uh, I know a lot of online retailers kind of be dragging their feet and it'd be taking them a while to get in their toys, but I am grateful to Big Bad Toy Store for eventually getting me these two. So I think what I'm going to do today, guys, is I'm actually going to start off with the uh, Spider-Man 2099 because that's where I think the most uh, reuse is. And not to mention, uh, this action figure actually isn't mine. At least I didn't get it for me. I bought it for my brother, who's a big Miguel O'Hara fan. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. And I immediately forgot how annoying it is to open retro carded stuff. So instead of you watching this, I'm just going to be right back. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Spider-Man 2099 out of the packaging. And you can kind of tell right off the bat, which they did mention this uh, back when they first revealed that they were uh, making another Spider-Man 2099 for the uh, retro Spider-Man uh, wave. This, what you're seeing right here, is more or less the uh, retro Spider-Man, I think the newest retro Spider-Man body that they've come out with. In fact, I'm going to go get mine so I can show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison of the two figures. But before I start comparing, guys, one thing that I did notice about this uh, Spider-Man 2099 is the paint deco that they decide to use. It doesn't really seem very shiny. Uh, the paint deco that they use really isn't that shiny, which I kind of actually prefer. Uh, because sometimes with certain Marvel Legends action figures, I can kind of understand that uh, maybe characters like Iron Man, because they're really wearing like metal like armor, it'll make sense for it to have that kind of shine on it. But... As you can see here, the paint doesn't seem to be really all that shiny. So I actually do kind of like that about this figure. But yeah. But I do also like the uh, design for Spider-Man 2099. The symbols on his chest and whatnot. I noticed there seems to be next to nothing on the back. But I'm not actually very familiar with... Uh, Spider-Man 2099 so I'm not really sure if there's supposed to be anything on his back you guys let me know in the comments below whether or not this outfit is accurate to how he actually looked in the comics actually upon further investigation guys I actually noticed that the retro Spider-Man that I got seems to actually be a little bit more on the bulkier side than this uh, 2099 Spider-Man I feel like the articulation and whatnot is generally the same, and we're going to go over that in a minute. But I actually did not notice that this Spider-Man is a little bit uh, thinner than uh, the retro Spider-Man. And to just do a rundown of the articulation from head to toe. His head articulation seems pretty good, which most of the time, if you're a character that has no hair, that's going to be the case. Look down a good bit, look up a good bit, and of course has the 360 on the head. Uh, he has butterfly joints, so that's always a plus for me. Cause I feel like you can get way better uh, poses. What characters have butterfly joints? Upper swivel on the arm, double joint as well. And his hands, which appear to be a little stiff right now, seem to have a uh, up and down uh, hinge there. And 360 all the way around on that. Ab crunch, of course, which this ab crunch seems to not be all that good. Can't really get a whole lot back. Forward is about the same, so I am a little disappointed about that. As a swivel down at the waist, he also, I'm not even sure if he's supposed to have a swivel in the upper thigh because I cannot get these pieces to move. <laughs> In fact, there's, there's a couple of pieces on this action figure that I literally was afraid I was going to break it because it just wasn't moving. I had to run this action figure under some 
warm water just to get it to move but double drain legs seem to be working okay and of course has that good old ankle pivot which to be honest I actually had a little bit of trouble getting him to stand up because one of his feet like would not move oh I gotta go get that guys be right back but let's go ahead and get into my favorite part the accessories one of which he comes with and I believe this is some type of web cape I'm pretty sure he has this in the comics uh, it's just one plastic piece that you can stick into the back uh, peg hole of spider-man and it's pretty snug so once you pop that in there it's not likely to come out I personally think that that looks a little weird but then again I'm not a big Spider-Man 209 fan anyway so there's probably other people that really like Spider-Man that are digging this right now but one thing that I really liked about this uh, Spider-Man is he actually comes with stretched out hands wall crawling hands guys I do not know why Marvel Legends, why Hasbro does not make more Spider-Man action figures come with wall crawling hands. Like This should be a standard thing that all Spider-Man action figures should come with and they don't have them come with it. So I'm really glad that this Spider-Man actually comes with wall crawling hands. And of course he comes with his standard punch hands because everyone knows a superhero needs punch hands to punch bad guys with but one thing that I thought would be interesting guys is to do a comparison um, with a action figure another action figure that's actually my brother's and I'm going to get that for you right now and here he is guys this is the I believe the Spider-Man Origins Spider-Man 2099 this is actually a action figure that me and my brother used to play with when we were kids and he still has it so I thought it would be kinda cool to compare this action figure to this new Marvel Legends uh, 2099 action figure of course you can tell there is a little bit of scuffage this this was a very well loved figure guys a lot of good times playing random spider-man avenger justice league related stuff with this guy but um i do notice that it, his legs you can't get him to stand completely straight because it's almost like there's like a built-in sculpt in there so he's almost like a statue but with joints i also noticed that the uh symbol on this old spider-man origin spider-man is a lot bigger and more uh more defined, more uh, visible uh, than this new one. However, this new one comes with uh, like the little spikes and like the claws that I think are more associated with the character. This one seems more kind of like a before his uh, spidey mutation completely started uh, taking over his body a little bit more. And I also, just growing up, I always kind of like this cape that the Spider-Man Origin Spider-Man had on him as opposed to a plastic piece I know a lot of the times especially back in the day like with uh, Star Wars figures the cloth robes always felt like big and clunky just like a giant chunk of cloth but I like this one because it never really felt like that I mean obviously in terms of articulation this one has it I mean I'm not trying to say that this one's better because I feel like nostalgia is kind of clouding my judgment with, with this guy right here. So, <laughs> But just for comparison, this is the Spider-Man 2099 next to the retro Marvel Legends Spider-Man and the Origins Spider-Man 2099. Now, like I said, I got this one for my brother. But personally, if it was up to me, I'd probably get a magic eraser and clean this one up a bit. And <laughs> keep this one. Because I actually... In terms of visual aesthetic, I do kind of like the old Origins one a little bit better. It's not as skinny and lanky as uh, the new retro Spider-Man 2099. But, it's always good to have another Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but when it comes to Marvel, I'm a big Spider-Man guy. So, it's always good to have, you know, some more Spider-Man on the shelf. 
But we're gonna go ahead and switch gears here, guys, and move on to the Marvel Legends Tigra. Now, my first introduction to this character right here was actually there was this Avengers uh, cartoon that was out uh, back when. I think it was called United We Stand. Now, regardless of whether or not you like that Avengers show, that was literally my first introduction to this uh, character. And I was like, cool, it's like a tiger lady show. She's like a Thundercat, but she's not a Thundercat. <laughs> but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and open Tiger up right now. And here she is, guys, Tigra out of the packaging. Now, one primary reason that I got uh, sold on this character is, well, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Right now, let's just go ahead and talk about the actual look of the figure. I can't remember exactly what the Tiger from the Avengers show actually looked like, but this is kind of what you'd think when you know you think of like a tiger lady she actually looks like she's supposed to be like from the savage lands or something like that because they uh she does actually come with like a more tame head which is the one she's right now but she also comes with like a more i guess savage head so for those of you that like that there you go i like the tiger stripe pattern that they went with although i do notice that it looks like they gave us like some furry texture up here at the top where the shoulders are and then for the rest of the body they just decided to not do that <laughs> I don't know if they're trying to save money or what but you, I can feel a little bit of texturing on the tail as well I'm not sure if they weren't quite sure whether or not they wanted to give Tiger a furry texture or not I don't know if she's supposed to be furry since I only know her from the Marvel Legends TV show but you guys be the judge when it comes to accuracy and whatnot. Other than that, there's really not much to say about Tiger's outfit because she's not really wearing much anything. So let's go ahead and move on to articulation from head to toe, starting off with the head. Now, you guys already know how I feel about long hair hindering head articulation, but you can actually get her to turn her head all the way around if you so wish. Now, she can't look up a good bit, although the ball joint in the torso helps you with that if you want to make her look up a good ways um, and she can actually look down a good bit as well like I said before ball joint in the torso which definitely helps with the uh, articulation that uh, is limited up in her head upper swivel on the arms as well as the new Double jointed arms, guys. Now, ha Hasbro did say that moving forward, this is what the female action figures were going to have. Double jointed arms. So I'm holding them to that. And so far, they appear to be keeping their word on that. So I'm really happy about that. Unfortunately, as usual, there's no lower joint on the lower part of the torso. I feel like that would come in handy for different poses. But it does have the upper... Swivel on the legs and seems to be able to get a good ways up. Um, I always did notice that like the waist joints would sometimes hinder certain Marvel action figures, but most of them seem to be pretty good. If you, for whatever reason, want them to settle way down, you can do that. Double jointed legs as usual, and of course, ankle pin for rocker. And moving on into accessories. She, of course, comes with run-of-the-mill punch hands. Bop, bop. But she also comes with that alternate head that I was telling you about earlier. This more savage, primal uh, head. And I did notice that uh, this head seems to have like the black stripes on the face. And the head that comes on the figure does not have that. I don't know if, if this head's supposed to represent a different version of Tigra in the comics but uh either way I think these are both good heads for a savage looking tiger lady so we're gonna try that one on right now oh getting that second head on guys was a little bit harder than I thought but here it is now before we continue I did notice that oddly 
my tiger action figure has these little uh, I don't really know what they would call them these like marks on both bends of her arm it looks like that kind of thing where like uh, there's like another piece of plastic connected to it and they take it off either that or tiger's been shooting herself up which would explain why she looks like a tiger I'm just kidding guys I don't know the lore <laughs> And for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here is the new Marvel Legends Tiger next to my custom black cat that I used making uh, Shriek's body that I told you about in another uh, video. And here is the Marvel Legends Tiger next to the new uh, retro cardback Marvel Legends Spider-Man 2099. Comment down below who you guys would think will win a fight. And here are both figures next to... Tigra's friend and fellow Avenger, at least that's how it was in the show I watched, Falcon. All in all guys, these are two pretty nice figures. I know I wasn't really seeming all that enthusiastic about the Spider-Man 2099, but that's just because me personally, I'm not a big 2099 fan, and this Tiger does take advantage of the new double jointed arms, as well as being a kind of more unique character overall but yeah guys comment down below what do you think about these two action figures do you like them do you not like them and be sure to follow me on my instagram as i stay updated when i plan to upload a video as well as see exclusive photos like of tiger and spider-man here that you will not see in my videos all right guys until then be sure to like subscribe and go to my channel to check out other videos catch you later